welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is daisha and this is a week in my life i want you to check out my website that's where you can shop everything that i have on my website as well as my pinterest and my youtube of course and you can always use i love you bff 15 for you know save a little bit of money and check out but you know i had all these packages to drop off somewhere around 12 or 13 packages i really can't remember but yeah in a second i'm gonna go to the post office and drop all the stuff off because they need to go to their homes and i appreciate everyone who places an order with me it's greatly appreciated um so yeah if you want to shop with me go check out my website Okay, do y'all see the two people that are standing over there? They were looking at me so crazy. I have my tripod that's connected to my chest. Um, I just strapped my phone on there so that, I, so that I'm able to record at this angle. And they were just looking at me so crazy. Like, what is this girl doing? Do y'all see how many of I gotta go back the package. So, um, I've gotten to a point where I don't really care what people say, think about me, so I'm filming in public. And this is one of the cases, so I gotta do what I gotta do, okay? The content has to be content, okay? So yeah, they was talking shit about me, I already know it. I think this is my tissue. I got an I got a notification saying something was delivered. It's my tissue. We gotta have our tissue to clean our booties with. Ooh. I just get a subscription on Amazon. Basically, it comes once a month, and there's six rows of eight. There's eight things of tissue that comes on like six packages in here and it lasts me and my entire family for a while like i still have leftover tissue in my cabinet so yeah just get a subscription on amazon for tissue y'all and other like toiletries and supplies it's much easier i'll be so bold myself when you come and fuck me i feel so ordinary so when you won't round me treat me like all the right wear me out arguments you air me out tripping about your whereabouts i can keep no perfect with you but can we just rub it out i don't want no sex with you you know you my thug and i can't shake this habit no i've been down baby let me reminisce now I'm at your salad tree, you let me no permission no. Missionary getting boring, which positions Hard to say your song, you don't have to listen, no, no I've been down, baby, tell me reminiscing Maybe I'm a missing, you know what I'm wishing Was giving it what it was My lips are so dry. Um, I forgot to film most of the day because uh, I forgot I was filming today. Um, but um, I ended up organizing a bunch of my yarn today. I went to the post office earlier. I got a lot of stuff done. It's very productive. It's towards the end of the night now. The sun is kind of set in. It's like 8 p.m., 8, 19, 8, 15 right now. Um, yeah. I got a lot of work done today. Um, I forgot to film a lot of my, like, just like me crocheting today. I didn't think about it. But right now, what I'm working on 
I'm working on a new tutorial for my YouTube channel. A new simple kind of like halter top situation. So I've started so far. This color is so beautiful. I found this yarn on clearance. It's so pretty. So um, I'm currently, of course, like writing everything down for y'all for the next tutorial. Um, and yeah, I definitely want to do like, um, if y'all have any suggestions on like more tutorials that I should do, definitely let me know in the comments. I just want to say, first off, I'm not doing a ruffle head tutorial. Um, my signature ruffle hats, I'm not doing a tutorial on that. I'm sorry. Anything that you see on my website that I am selling for my brand and my business, I will not be doing a tutorial on. Um, but outside of that, I'll do a tutorial on everything else. But um, I'm not doing a tutorial on my ruffle head. That's like the number one question I get is, can you show me? Can you do a tutorial? No. Absolutely not. I'm not gonna get if if you know then you know why I say no when I when when it when it comes to the ruffle hat, you know then the, then you know. But no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna probably finish the other side of this. I just started on the other side, and then when I get done with this, I probably want to go take a shower kind of wind down for the night um i'll probably get on tiktok live for y'all for y'all who don't know and who are new seeing me i love being on live on tiktok um all my besties on on there and i just basically sit on live it's a chill creative and safe space for everybody um everybody just joins and we do our crafts together and we have fun so yeah if y'all ever want to come check me out on tiktok my ad name is Life's Not So Bad as well, as well as Instagram and Pinterest. So go follow me. I will be plugging myself. And I have a link tree with all of my links available in one space so you can find out where I'm at. And I got this good, nice iced coffee. I needed a little picker-upper. And I love me some coffee. I don't care what time of day it is. I'm like an old woman at heart. I will drink me a cup of coffee no matter what time of day it is. I will have my cup of coffee, hun. Yeah, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to crochet a little bit. And then I'm going to go take a shower. Um, I'm still washing. My last comforter is in the dryer. So once they get the dryer, I can put it on my bed. So I'll be ready for bed tonight. You know, nice and cozy with my fresh new sheets. Like I said, I, I have to wash my sheets. It's something about like, just like skincare. I don't know. It's like wash your sheets. I at least wash my blankets and sheets. If not like once a week, then once every other week. We I just I have to. So it's mandatory. I'm not gonna um I'm gonna continue to crochet, but I'm not gonna explain too much about like what I'm doing. I'm just gonna like kind of show y'all since I didn't really get to record myself crocheting today. My my other items that I crochet for like orders and stuff. Um, since I will be posting a full tutorial on this top and how to do it I, and just to like people who don't know everything that i do is freehand um i don't follow patterns i make my own patterns i don't write patterns but i do write down a lot of the stuff that i design um just so that i can kind of refresh my brain and go back to it but yeah i will have that available for y'all so yeah i hope y'all enjoy these next little couple of clips um it's just going to be me crocheting, y'all. And I'm watching Jocelyn's Cabaret in the background. <laughs> mm. Don't get me started on her. Because, honestly, we're not even going to go there. We're not going to go there. But, yeah. Okay, let's crochet. It's time to crochet. It's time to get crafty. I've been a baby.
I call to and I see ya. I'm caught in the but I was working. So I to look for you. I I'm on the way over. today or this week but I'm gonna give y'all a quick haul and what I got from Trader Joe's Trader Joe's the main grocery store that I shop at so it's nice so I had to get this butter chicken this is my all time favorite even if I don't go in there to get this I will still get this because it's so good I got two of these I needed to get crackers, so I got these regular plain, just like crackers. Puts me in the mind of Ritz crackers. Super good, really, really good. I got pickles, so that I can make myself fried pickles. Me making my own at home fried pickles is my all time favorite midnight snack. Or just like dinner, I will literally eat this for dinner. So good, I love pickles. I got some yogurt. I usually get the big tub, but I decided not to because I know I probably have a little bit left. I want to finish that tub of Greek yogurt first. So I just got these little things of Greek yogurt, strawberry vanilla. Got two of these. So yummy. Put a little bit of granola and some chia seeds in here. Perfect. I'm set for the morning or like a little afternoon snack. And I need to get more ketchup. So I got some ketchup. And let me tell y'all, before I even show this, this is like a seasonal thing. I don't know if it's seasonal, but anytime I go to Trader Joe's, I can never find it. So I was happy that I was able to find it. Um, I still have one unopened tube or a bottle of this, the Brazilian body butter. Um, I still have one full thing that's not open, so I just got one more. I should have just grabbed two, but y'all, please. Trader Joe's has the best body butters that you can literally ever ask for. And I also got two of these. So good. I'm guessing this is a new product, but it's the Brazil Butter Body Butter. I'm sorry, Brazil Nut Body Wash. And it's the same scent as this. And it's so good. It's literally the best thing ever. I'm about to go take a shower just so I can smell like this. Oh my god, it smells so good. So if I don't put you on, I'm just letting you know. Okay, Daisha said go get this, go get it. I feel like Trader Joe's has a pretty good like hygiene toiletry beauty section as far as like the products. It is so good. But that's my little haul. I didn't really have to go like grocery grocery shopping. I was just getting things that I needed at home. So that's the haul. I'm gonna enjoy the rain and go take a shower. And use my new body wash because it smells so good it smells literally so good it smells like magic heaven in a bottle literally so i'm gonna put this away and then yeah go about my day yeah this is the yogurt that i usually get i just usually get the big tub since 
me as well as my family eat a bunch of yogurt. I usually get two of these tubs, but I want to finish this tub out. So I just got myself a different flavor in this strawberry vanilla. But y'all, Trader Joe's has the best yogurt ever, ever. You know, Greek yogurt is good for you. So switch to Greek yogurt and get it from Trader Joe's because it's so good. It is super inexpensive. So yeah. <laughs> This robe is open in the front, so like I can't really show myself right now, but I'm proud of myself for doing this. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. This is so scary. I was very, very nervous to get my first pap smear, but it actually turned out really, really good. And I feel like as a woman, you should definitely take your feminine health into consideration and take care of your body and your mental health and yourself. So yeah, go to the doctor if you need to go to the doctor. Don't be scared like me. And so when I got back from the doctor's office, I just kind of sat home and I finished these pair of pants that have that I've been procrastinating on. So I finally finished these pants. They came out really, really nice. Y'all are going to see in the next clip. They came out beautifully. I'm in love with these pants. Definitely want to make more in a different color. But yeah, I just spent a lot of time crocheting because I, I didn't have anything else to do after my doctor's appointment. And I didn't have to work today. So this is pretty much all that I did. Let me know in the comments if y'all want a tutorial on how I made these pants. I'm basically using a granny square cluster stitch, which is like the clusters of three double crochet. Um, that's all I pretty much did for this entire project. But it took me years to master the measurements and how to correctly make a pair of pants from my body shape and type. I wear anywhere from a 20 to 22 um, size and pants and so it's very very hard for me to make crochet pants for myself so finally after years and years I think these are like the best pair of pants that I've ever made um, since I've been crocheting 
for now ten plus years. So yeah, let me know in the comments if y'all want a tutorial on how to create these beautiful pants. I absolutely love them, and I'm not sure if I, I'm not sure when I'm gonna wear them, but yeah, I'm really excited for these pants. Typically, as I crochet, I'm either listening to a podcast or I'm watching something on Netflix or Hulu or just some type of TV program. And right now, my favorite show that I'm binging on and absolutely obsessed with is Oranges in the Black. No one told me that this was actually this good. But for my girls who know what Wentworth is, this definitely does not top Wentworth. I will put Wentworth on top of Orange is the New Black, but I digress. It's still a very, very good show to watch. There's like seven seasons. That gives me plenty of time to crochet as well as watch something. I mean, sometimes crocheting this is completely silence is okay, but I would rather have something playing in the background. So yeah, um, that's like mainly what I was watching on my laptop that was in front of me and as I was crocheting. But this is how I crochet in real time. I know when I'm on TikTok, a lot of people say I crochet fast, but um, this is just, this is how I crochet. Like, I don't know, it's very weird. When I'm on TikTok Live over there, I get lots of weird comments about the way I hold my hook and the way I crochet, but this is how I regularly crochet. I didn't get to film myself making this top, but this is one of the things that I got done this week. This beautiful sage green fringe halter top. Um, it's, this, this is kind of reminds me of the top that I was making in the previous clip. But um, yeah, if y'all want a tutorial, please let me know. I have everything written down. I'm ready to film, ready to go. I just need y'all say so. But yeah, she came out gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, I used a half double crochet stitch for the entire project. And fringe, I just cut it out little pieces of yarn for the fringe at the bottom. But this is how the actual pants came out. These are beautiful. I have a pair of tights underneath. But these pants came out really, really nice. I created four separate granny squares using scrap yarn. And then the rest, I used a sage green color for the rest of the pants. I absolutely loved how these pants came out. Like, these pants are gorgeous. Georgina, these things came out beautiful, okay? So, yeah, please let me know if y'all want a tutorial on how I make these pants. Honestly, this would not have took me so long. I have been procrastinating on these pants for months. I could have got these done in, like, a number of weeks, but... Come on a quest with me to retrieve thy supplies from thy beauty supply house. I feel like Little Mermaid, hair blowing in the wind. I always speak to whoever's in the store because that's just nice. So I go down the aisle. I started thy hair last night, ran out of my materials, so I'm on a quest to get more. I go towards the front because I need more supplies i also needed a bonnet i was gonna get this bonnet but i saw a different one and a nicer color of pink guess who i saw keisha cole i should have cheated quest has been completed grand total was 42 dollars ouch and the quest was a complete mission. Titties bouncing in the wind. Thumbs up. Push my hair back. It was blowing in the wind too hard. Let I do a mini haul. Keisha. I got some of this. I also needed some mousse for my hair. And these are the best lashes ever. The best fluffiest lashes ever. And I told you so. Me. Go get them. Don't buy them all because I need them. I have to finish thy top of thy head. So I got more locks as well. 20 inches. I'm pretty tall so these are longer than me. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I also, this is the whole thank you for coming with me for thy quest. I love how my hair came out this time. This is about my second or third time doing my own faux locks at home by myself. But I think now, it's been a couple of weeks since I've done them. And I think now I want to go back through and just make them a little bit thicker. 
to give more of like a messy look but i absolutely love how they turned out i did really really good everyone usually asks me like what's my setup for when i take my pictures in my room um <laughs> so this is all i do i prop my mirror against my desk chair i have the fan on right now because it's kind of hot in here and it's the summertime i get any like kind of either like a side table right now i got a box the box for my tissue i don't have anywhere to put the tissue so it's gonna stay in the box and i put my tripod on top of it and i stand here this is what we're shooting today I'm going to be posting this new item on my website, a mesh dress, but in the color rainbow. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Um, but yeah. That's how the back looks. Super cute. Um, See, so yeah, I'm going to get ready to take some pictures for this. This is the only like clear spot in my room that has just like a plain background. So I use this background. Um, I like to work with what I have. Yeah, I hope hopefully one day in the future I will be able to afford and get a studio where I can take all of my content and pictures. But for now, I use what I have and work with what I got. Um, I'm going to move this Mr. Clean bottle. But yeah, um, this is how I take my pictures and videos of my crochet items. So yeah, I'm going to go do that really quickly and take some videos and some pictures and post everything on my website. And by the time this comes out... Um, it should definitely be on my website and it will be available. So yeah, check out my website, www.lifesnotsobad.com for all of my crochet pieces. I finished my hair, it came out so pretty. Um, once they get a little bit older and messier, I'm gonna add more hair on it to make them thicker. But this came out super cute. So I'm gonna get ready to take some pictures. Um, and yeah, this is really cute. I love how this like this color just like eats it really eats for the summertime I love it
content for Saturday or Sunday, but I did make these really, really cute hanging plants. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what I can change or improve to my videos to make them better. As well as any suggestions that y'all would like. Make sure that y'all add me on TikTok, Instagram, and my Pinterest. As well as subscribe if you want to down below. Um, everything is at Life's Not So Bad. You can find me. I'll make sure that I leave everything in the description on where you can find me on social media. As well as TikTok and you know, Pinterest. I just said that. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this. And I'll see y'all in the next video.